what is up guys it's troy at the full setup back with another video for you and today we have a microphone um video not a review just an unboxing so i'm going to review this microphone in sort of two to three weeks time i want to use this microphone in my next few reviews because i do have some audio tests coming up a couple of other reviews for deep call as well and i thought you know if i use the microphone for a bit it's just going to help with a better review you know it's going to i'm going to know what the microphone can do and what it can't do and we can sort of hear it, you know, some sound tests and some videos. And I can even pull some footage from there. So it saves me some time. Anyway, waffling, as always, you know, guys, waffling at the beginning of the video. But this was sent to me for the purpose of this review. Um, just because it was sent to me doesn't mean I'm going to give it a five star review if it's not a five star product. So I'm going with Fron Max because it can't be Fron Max because there's no E and it can't be Tron Max because there's a H. So. I'm going with from max this is the m drill one this microphone is available for 80 pounds on amazon this isn't the indiegogo version that also has the noise cancelling feature on it i did request that one it's not being sold in the uk yet but when it is sold in the uk hopefully we'll get one out to review so this features their um pattern pending vertigain technology this is going to be quite a good box overview actually there's sort of stuff all over this box last few boxes have been real plain four recording patterns which we'll go through in a second 48 kilohertz recording now there's some on the market that are offering up to 192 i think that's what the indiegogo one does or 96 but honestly 48 kilohertz recording is more than enough high definition studio grade recording so we're going to do lots of different various audio tests in the full review um so this has got four um not four three studio grade condensers in it simple plug and play hassle free we'll have a look at that connections in a minute and then over to the back of the box, we've got some pictures of the microphone. As we already said, then four recording modes, smart LED indicator, full aluminium enclosure, seven color mood lighting. Be quite nice to see for all you RGB fans, but I wouldn't have that as a reason to buy a microphone, but it's definitely a nice feature. And on the side here, they have a little bit about the difference. Let's maybe turn the brightness down a little bit. Should we turn it down? About the different types of recording modes that you have. So you have the standard sort of cardioid, that's probably what you're going to use the most. So that sort of keeps the sound in front of you, cuts out everything that's behind you. Great for streaming, podcasts, voiceovers, and instruments. That's why that has the most. Cardioid, definitely good. Stereo, very interested in these stereo features on this because I want to use it to do record for my speaker tests. I'm also sort of thinking about carving out like a styrofoam head, stuffing this microphone in it and using it for some headphone reviews because I started to get some headphones. Um, so yeah, stereo, omnidirectional, so that's just all around you sound. So if there was a sound behind me now, it's going to capture all of that. Great for conference calls and events and bidirectional as well. So that's sort of going to be a little bit different where it's sort of like maybe two of us sat at the end of a table. So that's going to capture both of our sounds if we're sort of sitting away from each other. So good for interviews, instruments and vocal duet. You know, maybe joint little live streams. Have we shown everything else off? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have the microphone up here this is the gray version also available in black i'm not too sure quote me if i'm wrong it might be available in red but it could be one of their other models they do have a few models of microphones reviews have been really positive about these on amazon i'm, I'm struggling to find a bad review um and for 80 quid they are targeting the blue yeti I completely open this wrong I'm trying to pull the top up so they are targeting the blue yeti some of their marketing information as well just for the compact size they're targeting the razor mics as well but this sells for around about the same price as a blue yeti nano yeah it offers a lot more extra features packaging looks very good so that is a quick start guide but i'm sure you can figure most of this out as with any other usb microphone it's plug and play you could use you know some easy uh, door maybe that you've got with another bit of software I personally just always use audacity it's free it's been well supported for years so that's the one i go with and then nice big bit of foam in here as well because obviously if you do drop a condenser microphone too high gets too much uh too hard or gets too much of a knock you are going to damage those condenser microphones um have a look at the microphone in a second so that is this little package here this is a three meter usb c cable so it's nice to see USB-C there. I don't like change. I know loads of you are like, yes, USB-C, you know, but I'm not, I'm not big on change. You know, I like the old school, you know, like the printer cable that's used for like all the audio stuff. And, it, and that's because I have some spent out on some higher end cables on some cables, which are going to 
suffer less from interference and stuff. And I know what you're saying. It's a USB cable. You don't need to spend more money on it, but you will notice a difference. Register your product for an additional 12 month warranty. It is braided though. It's a very nice cable. Gold plated. This does look to be a nice cable. So one thing as well, I didn't notice on the bottom here, there's some specs and I just wanted to short, sort of show you this because I am going to do some tests with an iPad. I'm going to do some tests with an iPad, but it won't be the new iPad Pro, which has a USB-C. So it requires five volts of 250 milliamp power to power a USB-C. So I don't know if you can power this directly from an iPad Pro. What I'm using is like the camera connection kit where it has power and a USB. It's going to do some tests in there. Just a few extra little features on it. And here is, here is the microphone. Now, I wanted it in grey over the black, and I still think it looks gorgeous in the grey, but it doesn't look as gorgeous as their social media photos. It gives it more of this sort of very high-quality metal look to it, like that gunmetal sort of car paint finish, but it still looks absolutely beautiful. Now, you can unscrew this here, and if you can see here, that is a standard microphone connector Machining on the inside. Again, these are just real niggly points, but it's because we're doing an inbox. Machining on the inside isn't very good. I don't know if this is because I watch too many vape videos. So like I, I noticed machinery stuff. USB-C cable input. Auxiliary input for a headphone. Headphone, we've got the LED ring. I might turn it on to show the LEDs in a second. LED input. Now the microphone feels light. The microphone feels very light. Again, it's 80 pounds. The base, that base is real heavy, like. Hear that? Probably shouldn't drop it like that. <laughs> oh, you're saying condenser microphones, are, condenser microphones are sensitive. They could break easy and then you just drop it on a table. That's the sort of shit I do. Um, I know one thing because obviously this isn't a pure unboxing. This got delivered to my work and I took it out of the box and I've got a USB-C cable that plugs into my computer and there isn't enough room to get it in here. So you do have the angled USB. I'm sure you can probably buy right angled USB-C cables, but you might be limited to the quality that you can get. I don't know if they sell replacements of these. I haven't done any research beforehand. So if they do, then obviously I shouldn't complain. But if the microphone was just stood up, just to about there, we would probably be able to use any USB-C cable we wanted to. So this is their Vertigear stuff, which we'll talk a little bit more about in the review. And the sort of patent pen, patent, patent, pepper, 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 patent pending. It's patent pending, the Vertigear stuff. So they're saying sound waves go vertical. Boom, there you go, hitting it again. So it's going to hit all the different condensers that you have in the microphone better. And they're saying that gives you up to a 10% better sound quality compared to ones that would use like a mesh now microphones have been using mesh for years so i don't know how much that holds up but i do sort of get it for a microphone that's got lots of different condensers inside so maybe that's somewhere they're trying to find an advantage over like the yeti microphones and maybe you know want some razor as well as you can see we've got a red light let's turn the light down some more now so there is like a red red light for recording off I think this is because I haven't plugged it into a computer, just to a USB stick, USB stick, USB plug. See this button here is the mode. It changes you all your, all of these ones. Now, one thing I noticed earlier, I don't know if it's because I never recorded, but as much as this gain knob here doesn't have any sort of click feel to it, would have liked a click feel. I like a clicky knob, but you can obviously see the indicator here. So that's the gain all the way up to max gain. I don't know if it knows once it's recording that this turns into a sensitivity level because that would be really good. So we'll find out about that in the review, but I don't think it does. And this one here is the headphone level. Now I think this does like, how many milliwatts? 160 milliwatts into 16 ohms. So you ain't going to be using studio grade headphones with this, but you still got live monitoring, which is good for a lot of people. So yeah, we'll find out once I hit record mode. I would like to see that, you know, I know if I'm clipping on here, but I don't know if it does that. I said, this is just an unboxing. We're just looking around it. It's been 10 minutes, so let's just have a look at the LED. It's got red, green. This does shine very brightly. I'm in a lit room at the moment. 
blue, yellow, purple, off. I would have liked to have seen a seven color. I feel like, you know, we want that sort of cycle through the colors to match a lot of RGB stuff. But you know, how many other microphones have lights on them? And like I said, 80 pound microphone, thoroughly looking forward to testing this one out. Another thing as well, I've decided to sort of shoot these part of the videos in my lounge because I just get better natural light than my bedroom. So I'd be interested in your thoughts on how everything looks. I'd be interested in your thoughts on any tests you want for the microphone. Like I said, the review is going to be out sort of, I say two weeks. It's probably going to be three weeks till I get the review out. So if you do have any questions in the meantime, do ask me because I would have done some testing. I would have used it for other videos and I might be able to answer your questions. Anyway, that's it for me today. I hope you like the look of this microphone. That is an Amazon affiliate link in the description, but I definitely wouldn't go out and buy it until you've seen my review or watch somebody else's review. But have a look on Amazon. They are mostly five stars for all of the Fronmax microphones. I can't end the video. Waffle over. Let's go.